<laughs> so it's a game you're interested in. <laughs> I found something for you to dote on. Yeah! What's up, my friends? Welcome to the complete set review for Outlaws of Thunder Junction. Going over every card for constructed and limited. We did white, we did blue. That's on YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe, support the content, please. Everybody you watch, just hit the like button. Leave a comment. It helps out so much. It costs you nothing. Hit play, hit like, every video. I love you all. Thanks so much. And uh, so that's been really cool so far. We already did white and blue, obviously. I want to remind you, of course, we got 10 new brews coming up on Wednesday. 10 new brews, early access stream. going to be freaking awesome. So happy that Arena brought back the early access stream. It's really, really fun. We got Bronze Mythic next week on Tuesday. And uh, it's actually 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll fix that. Uh, but uh, it's going to be a lot of fun as well. And um, yeah, we'll just freaking do this, all right? Set review time. Going into our first card in black, and it is Ambush Gigapede. What a, what a card, right? Six mana for a 6-2 flash. When it ETBs, target your opponent controls, gets minus two, minus two, 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 two in one of turn. This is a power creep, right? Wasn't there a this exact card? In Ikoria, but it was a 5-2, right? What was that card called? I remember that card. This card obviously looks really bad, right? This is like a 6 mana. A 6 mana 6-2. Six is this card bad? Um, It's actually not that bad. You know, this is the kind of card where, like, you're in limited. You're going to say to yourself, I win here unless they have Gigapede. Where you have, like, a 5-5 five, five and a 2-2 flyer. And, like, you attack and they go, bam! And they blow you out. And, you know, for a common... This card is a pretty big effect on the game also. It's not a card you're ever taking highly, obviously. This is like a, you know, a late pick. But if you are lacking in top end and you're playing a deck that is, you know, probably a little more on the defensive side, uh, this card is reasonable, honestly. This card is not not as bad as it looks. It's fun to see cards like this now these days because I feel like every card is just so good. The rate on all cards always is just like totally pushed. Everything's a freaking, you know, 5-5 five, five for 4 or whatever. And like this card having a kind of weak body but a kind of cool effect that plays well is cool. So glad this card exists. It is a playable but, you know, unexciting late pick. Uh, but don't be scared to put this card in your deck if you are looking for a top end card. Bond in Negotiation. 24 Sorcery. Target opponent reveals their hand. Choose an online card. They discard it. You may also choose a face-up exiled card they own and put that card in the graveyard. So this is a 2-mana Thoughtseize or a Pilfer uh, that can also hit your opponent's plotted cards, uh, which is kind of a big deal, honestly, because like the plotted cards are very, are safe from anything. They can't get Thoughtseize or anything else, too. So Pilfer's already a fringe constructed playable anyway. This card is just Pilfer with Upside. Which I think this matters. So I think this card's a fringe playable target for sure. Um, kind of cool. You can hit the uh, hit the uh, plot, not plot foretell, whatever plot cards. And uh, in limited, also reasonable too because the same idea. Most limited discard spells aren't great because they're bad empty-handed. Uh, but this can hit a plot card at some point, which is kind of cool too. So pretty cool card. I think this is uh, better than most discard spells in limited, and then a reasonable constructed card. Not anything you're like die into play uh but reasonable this can also hit an adventure card too which is kind of cute so kind of cool pretty sweet card black snag buzzard ah! the meta for a 2-1 flyer when it etbs sorry it etbs with a plus plus one counter on it if a creature died this turn and it's plot two this is a rock solid common folks uh plot two is like pretty good you know you could just like cheaply put it away you don't have a two drop boom now this thing's over here it's free later awesome and then it's not uncommon in limited just go like two drop attack trade three drop and now you're getting a three two flyer for three which is pretty solid also so i think this is a very solid limited card um just fine you know nothing crazy not a high pick or anything but solid limited card nothing more blood hustler why why are those playing cards so big are those playing cards what is what is going on why does how you can't hustle me if you have a bunch of comically large playing cards in your in your in your shirt or whatever right whatever to it for a one one vampire rogue it's a an outlaw uh whenever you commit a crime put a plus plus encounter on blood hustler triggers only once each turn so of course committing a crime is targeting your opponent or anything of theirs and then you can send four mana and target opponent target get it crime Loses one life, and you gain one life. So this is obviously a pretty solid draft card. Uh, you know, they have that first crime going, it's a bear. And then later in the game, you can just, like, ping, drain, ping, drain, grow, ping, drain. 
Um, definitely want to be criming pretty well to play this card. Um, you know, there are cards, like there are, you know, we saw some blue commons that kind of just cry every turn, which is sweet. You know, ideally you'll be playing this as a 2-2 for the most part. Uh, but yeah, this card's very solid, limited card for sure. Constructed, not really good enough, I don't think. Uh, but very, very solid limited card. Boneyard Desecrator. This is a zombie mercenary. Four mana for a common 3-4. It's got menace. Pay two, sack a creature, put a counter on this. If an outlaw is sacrificed this way, make a treasure token. Love the flavor. Love it. That's some cool flavor. That being said, limited filler. Not a very exciting card. Um, just, you know, limited filler. Or limited, arch limited archetype filler. Caustic Bronco. Turn for a 2-2 Snake Horse Mount. What are the odds that in the English language, in the history of... The word snake, horse, mount. Ever been ever been sequential like that before? We think it's possible or not? Like, what a weird combination of, of, uh, of words. Whenever Cosmic like Bronco attacks, reveal the top card of your library and put it into your hand. Lose life or mana value. So it's dark, you dark confident on a card when you attack. And then if it was saddled, your opponent loses that much life. And saddle for three. Saddle means to basically uh, crew a creature that's already a creature and give it an extra ability. So saddle three is a lot, but like... If you're curving out and you're playing a 3-drop S3 power and you get to saddle this thing attack and it hits, that's pretty cool, you know? So, that being said, a Dark Confidant that has to hit is still a Dark Confidant that has to hit. Uh, it doesn't have any evasive effects or whatever. Um, I think this card is, like, you know, really, really high upside. But, you know, for the most part, it's just a bear, you know? Um, I'm sorry, it's not attack. I apologize. I, I misspoke. Uh, it's an attack trigger. That makes it a lot better. So, this card's reasonable. Kind of cool with Gix also. You need to be aware of your life total, obviously, as far as, like, you know, um, both tapping your blockers as well as losing life. But, yeah, cards, I think this card's fine. I think this card will play a little worse than it looks uh, and probably not be that big of a player, but we'll see, obviously. Great limited card. You draw one card over, you're stoked. So, great limited card for sure. Constructed, I think it's had a chance, but there's a lot of competition in black. Like, a lot. You know, so... Consuming Ashes, form an instant exile creature if it's small, surveil. This is your bread and butter, black removal spell. Uh, you know, high pick, probably not, 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 not the best black common because typically the removal spells aren't the black common these days. Uh, but yeah, fine card, surveilling too is pretty good. You get the idea. Corrupted Conviction, I miss Village Rights. I like Village Rights a lot better than Corrupted Conviction, but yeah, seen this card before too. Uh, you know, fringe constructed player, not great and limited. Nothing new. Just, we've seen the card a million times. Desert's do to meta for an instant. Creature gets minus two, minus two to end of turn. It gets an additional minus one, minus one for each desert you control. Now again, small desert theme, pretty similar to the cave theme in Lost Caverns of, Caverns of Ixalan, where there are just like some number of deserts. There's a few cards that care about them, but they're not a major theme. That being said, this is obviously a good limited card. Uh, to meta for a disfigure is not great, but it's fine. Once you, that, once you have that first desert in play, it's, it's, it's quite good. And then any more than that, it's great, obviously. And the deserts are very, very playable. All the common dual lands are deserts. So you can probably have you know, a few of them in play anyway. So this card's good. High pick, good trick, good removal spell. Uh, constructed, outside shot, if there's some sort of weird desert deck. But for the most part, this is just a draft card. Desperate Bloodseeker. It's close to bomb and common. All right, this card is excellent. A 2-2 two -two lifelink for two is great. It's excellent. It's phenomenal unlimited. Especially in black. It's even better in black than white because black gets worse creatures. This thing also EDBs and just mills too. It commits a crime. You can mill them. You can mill yourself for self-mill stuff. Card's just great. It's a great limited card. Not much to say. There's nothing, nothing here is that complicated. Card's great. The only real like trick here is that it can, it can crime your opponent. That's like the only thing you might not realize. But like even then, card's great. And uh, yeah. Fake your own death. This is a reprint, two mana for an instant. This is your usual. If a creature would die, bring it back. Effect, plus two plus so. Bring it back, make a treasure. Uh, and it's just an okay limited trick. Nothing too fancy. Obviously, it's better if you have a, you know, EDB effects or whatever, but yeah. Forsaken Miner. I wanted to give this card an award. There's just too many other cool black cards. This card's awesome. This is the best Gravecrawler printed, possibly since Gravecrawler. Uh, one black, Skeleton Rogue. Uh, both relevant creature types. Look for 10 new brews, I'm telling you. Can't block 2 2. Whenever you commit a crime, you can pay a black if you do return this in the graveyard of the battlefield. Everything's a freaking crime, folks. All right? 
Thoughts easy. Fatal push you. Uh, fill the ruin your land. Uh, graveyard trespass your card out of the graveyard. Whatever. Everything's a crime. All right. This is so easy to return. And it's a 2-2 for, for one, which is great also. Great aggro card. It's a rogue. It's a skeleton. I love this card. Can't wait to play it. I love crappy black, black aggro creatures. And I'm a huge fan. Great limited card too. I'm going to come back over and over and over again. Limited. Love this card. Love it, love it, love it. Might be my pick for my favorite card in the set. Uh, but yeah, love it. Super cool card. Gisa, the Hellraiser. Another really awesome, powerful card. But that's, that's not winning in a war, but it's still really, really good. Five mana for a 4-4. Four, four. It's got ward 2 and pay 2 life. Skeletons and zombies you control. Plus and plus 1 and have menace. So it is a super lord. Uh, two, two types and menace. Because whenever you commit a crime, again, very easy to do. Create two tapped 2-2 two, two zombie tokens. Only once a turn. That's awesome. All right. There's another card we're going to see later on that makes this commit a crime when it comes into play for free anyway. But just like, again, fatal push your thing. Two tokens. And there are also three threes, in case you're wondering. Uh, there are many relevant zombies and skeletons already in the format. All the Innistrad cards are still legal. There are still a bunch of zombies, which is crazy as well. And again, committing a crime is just targeting an opponent or any other stuff. Not hard to do at all. So pretty sweet. Uh, bomb and limited. Definitely has a chance to get instructed also. Uh, I think this card's phenomenal. Love it. Card's super cool. Love the art. Big winner. Big winner. Up next is Hollow Marauder. This is a 7 mana 4-2. This spell costs 1 less to cast for each creature card in your graveyard. Very odd they wouldn't template this as affinity. Because there's an, a card later on that has affinity in this set. Which is weird, but whatever. Affinity for, card, for creature cards in your graveyard. It's got flying. And when it ETBs, uh, opponent discards a card. And then whoever didn't discard a card, you uh, a big card, you draw a card. This card's great. Right? Like, obviously, you need to be playing a self mill deck. But if you can cast this for, for the cheap, this is a 4-2 Flying Ravenous Rat, which is pretty awesome. Uh, so, I'm a fan of this card. I think this card's pretty cool. It's got an outside shot of Constructive as a graveyard deck. The problem, of course, is that, like, there are other graveyard combo decks that demand graveyard hate. And because of that, there's graveyard hate. Hearse, rest in peace. There is some pretty, 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 good, pretty good graveyard hate in the set. Uh, but this card's pretty sweet. Probably won't make it Constructed, but I think it's really, really cool. Great limited card. Just like cast this for four and you're stoked, right? If this card costs four, you're ecstatic. Uh, four, two flyer, but like this card's a card. Great. So great card, limited. Fringe possible constructed. I like it a lot too. Insatiable Avarice. We have our uh, first black spree card. This is of course a black mana plus. And then the spree is uh, plus two or black, black. Plus two, you get to uh, vampire tutor card top of your library. Plus black, black, target player draws three and loses three. So we have kind of a weird mix here of painful truths and uh, a uh, vampiric tutor effect. This is obviously a mono black painful truths. Painful truths with a card that uh, casts for multiple colors, draw three, lose three. And that card saw play in standard back in the day. And it's a reasonable card for sure. And then uh, the tutor effect is less exciting because a tutor to the top of your deck for three is pretty bad. Uh, but it's kind of cool. This card's also kind of nasty with shouldered as well. Where if you have a shoulder in play and cast this, they lose three life, then six life, and that might just kill them. So definitely a possible chance to this to be a uh, you know kind of a mono black kind of card, which looks really cool for on theme with black also. It's a cool card, honestly, kind of a cool card, not overpowered or anything, but it just looks like a fun card. And then uh, in limited, it's not as good in limited. It's much harder to cast uh, black 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 on limited. And then if you're casting on turn five or six, then like. Here was awkward spot of like, am I still alive when I cast this? Yada yada yada. Uh, and if you you can also spend five mana and do both, which is kind of cool. So you can tutor a card, put it in your hand, draw two other cards. Uh, it does the card in order as always, but yeah, cool card. Nothing crazy. Not a not a power level outlier or anything like that. Just a solid fun card to build around. Looks cool. Carvic the Punisher. Carvic, Carvic, Carvic. We are a trap card here. Black black one for a three three legendary human warlock. Oh, I mean, you can make a crime. Exile up to one target black card from your graveyard and copy it. You may cast the copy. If you do, you lose two life. Very important to note here, you must pay for the card. It's not free, obviously. This card does have some powerful applications, right? As you've been saying, committing crimes is easy and black's really good at it. You know, uh, Deep Cavern Bat, take a card from you. Trigger this. Cast Bat from the graveyard, target you. Trigger this. Cast Bat from the graveyard. That's pretty cool, right? So, but the problem is that, like, 
This card doesn't do anything when you first play it, obviously. No keywords, no abilities, no ETB ability, no no uh, you know evasion or whatever. And the more you use it, the life adds up pretty fast, right? And like, what are we casting, you know, from our graveyard that we really want to do? So it's pretty easy to, to, to do this and you can keep doing it, but like, it's a lot of life. It's a lot of hoops to jump through. Creature's even that good. And the thing is, these days, you don't really run out of cards anyway, you know? Like, it's like, you always have things to do with your mana anyway, regardless. So, I think this card looks pretty powerful, but it's just kind of a dud. I don't think this card's particularly great. I uh, don't think we'll see much play. It's a fine limited card, obviously. Uh, but for Constructed, I think this card's kind of, a, kind, of a, kind of a dud. Not very exciting. So, overall, eh, just trap card. Karvik, the Punisher. Up next, we have Lively Dirge. We have a, another spree card. Two mana for a uncommon sorcery. Two mana plus... Plus one, search library for a card, put it in your graveyard, then shuffle. So three mana in tomb. And then four mana plus two. Return two creature cards with mana value four or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. So this can return small things, which is kind of cute. You can also in tomb as well. Realistically, though, like. So we can, you know, unearth some small things in tomb for three. It's just like pretty clunky also using this for like a creature combo deck you know like amalia or a Dota druid or whatever it might be um you know to kind of like do a thing with these creatures right now really fast and powerful sure this is just a mostly unexciting card this is the kind of card that will just get better at older formats honestly as there's like a million good small creatures you might want so i think this is like the one where it's sort of like you know unplayable and standard not very not really playable and limited but might find some weird combo application you know, in Legacy in some weird deck or whatever it might be. But for the most part, eh, you know, just kind of uh, just kind of okay. I guess the camera's gonna four drop also. For five mana total, you can just tutor for a card and put it into play, I guess. But like, is that even good? Just play a four drop or a five drop, you know? So, eh, I don't know. And limited, I guess you gotta, if you got a bo bomb four drop, you just play it, you know, whatever. That's kind of cool, but yeah. Overall, not very exciting. This card's kinda eh. Mourner Surprise, meant for a sorcery. Turn to one dark creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Make a mercenary token. And uh, this is like your, your raised dead plus token. It's fine. Fine limited card. Not very exciting. Obviously, if your deck cares about outlaws or cares about, um, you know, like sack fodder and stuff like that too, it gets a lot better. Uh, but yeah, you know, we've seen this card before. Nothing crazy. Neutralize the guards. That stinks. Stinks. <laughs> Three mana for a instant. Creatures opponent controls. Get minus and minus ones on a turn. And surveil two. Uh, obviously, you know, your first thought here is like, oh, I can get there to you know, convoke, kill their creatures or whatever, but a little too expensive. Um, this is obviously a fine limited card. You know, it's a combat trick, sort of. Kills X1s, surveil, it's a trick. At sorcerer speed, this card's unplayable. At instant speed, uh, you know, in combat, this card's kind of cool. Uh, one to watch out for. Your opponent makes a weird attack. This is the card you should be thinking about. Because this is one of those weird cards where, like, you should be able to figure it out, honestly. So, that's kind of cool. But, yeah. So, there you go. Uh, fringe limited card. Nothing, nothing more. Nazumi Link Breaker. One mana for a 1-1 one, one Rat Warlock. When it dies, make like a Mercenary. So, we have a, a Doom Traveler type card. It is a uh, a mer uh, is, is an outlaw itself. And it also makes an outlaw. These mercenary, mercenary tokens are also pretty good, too. They're better than an average 1-1. One, one, so, this card's fine. Good fodder card. Outside shot in in Instructed. Because Doom Traveler is just a possible pl playable card at times. So, uh, that's cool. Pretty weird art. Very, like, I don't know, like, League of Legends-y art, right? But, overzealous muscle. Five mana for a 5-4 mercenary. If you commit a crime on your turn, this thing gets indestructible. So, this is like your, again, typical five mana limited, uh, like, curve topper. It's not bad um, if you're ahead. If you play this thing on turn five and then turn six, commit a crime and attack, it's pretty hard to block, honestly. But, blocks really poorly pretty easy to kill requires other things costs five it's just like you know if you need a five drop you can play it not the most exciting card of all time though just fun pitiless carnage this is like the most abstract art like we've seen on a magic card in a long time it's kind of cool though format for a sorcery sack any number of permanents you can control you control then draw that many cards plot black black one so this is like a weird combo card right where like in some weird combo deck, if you're just like, you know, going nuts and, I don't know, sacrificing things on some big turn, it's cool. But very, very weird card. You know, in limited, I would not play this card. 
Uh, you can stack your lands, I guess, but, like, even then, like, you're just asking so much to draw some cards, just, like, play anything else, you know? So, mostly, like, a fringe combo card in some weird deck, maybe. Otherwise, not really a thing. Rackish Crew. The mana for an enchantment. ETB, make a mercenary. Whenever an outlaw you control dies, drain for one. So, this is, uh, kind of similar to, uh, Bastion of Remembrance from Ikoria, which is a pretty cool token card. Saw some fringe constructed play, and it's also a very, very good draft card. Uh, where it's this kind of like blood artist effect that is hard to kill this is an enchantment which is very very sweet and there are a lot of cool outlaw things happening too so uh that's pretty sweet honestly it's definitely a cool thing to build towards makes us a very very good limited card and it could also be a possible constructed card for some sort of like weird outlaw like aristocratic deck but that being said uh you got to uh have all outlaws here you can't afford to uh to not have outlaws going on here, or otherwise you're gonna get stuck, which kind of sucks. So definitely a very cool card though. I absolutely loved Bastion Remembrance, and I like this card too, unsurprisingly. Rileback Apothecary. The mana for a 3-2 uncommon death touch. Commit a crime, creature control gets menace or life at the end of turn. Good solid limited card. 3-2, death touch is fine. And decent abilities. Lifelink's cool. Menace is cool here also with that touch. It's good limited card. Not, not amazing, not unbelievable, just solid limited card. Raven of Fell Omens. Folks, have I told you yet that I love you? Aww. Have I told you late? Have I told you lately how easy it is to commit a crime, right? This is a 2 mana 1 2 flying bird. Commit a crime, drain for one. Only once a turn. That's awesome, all right? Not hard to crime every single turn limited, I don't think. There are multiple cr common creatures that crime whenever they attack. There's the, the, the lands that crime when they come into play. Uh, you should be criming a lot in limited. And if this thing is attacking for one every turn and then draining for one also, it's sort of like a 2-2 a two -two flyer with like a half a lifelink, which is obviously extremely good limited. doesn't need to attack though. And of course it drains and then the life gain is good also. I think this card is going to be awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome draft common. Really, really cool art. Uh, big fan. Big, big fan. If this didn't have the once a return restriction, maybe in Constructed. Probably not, though. But yeah, thanks cards. Really, really cool. Obviously, it is somewhat archetype dependent. This might not be, like, the best black common, but this is going to be, like, you know, one of the important commons of a set that defines your drafts for sure. Love this card. Think it's great. And uh, Raven of Fell Omens. Big fan. Up next is... Rictus? Robber? Rictus? You're saying it wrong. Format four up for a 4-3 uncommon zombie rogue. ETB, if a creature died this turn, make a token. Plot 3. Card's great. You know, at the floor, a 4-3 for 4 is just like playable and limited anyway. And this is very, very often going to make a 2-2. Make a and you can plot it also. So, very, very solid limited card. Not playable, constructed. It's a good card. Rooftop Assassin. Format of four, a 2 2 flying flash. It also has lifelink, which is kind of cool. ETB, and then kill thing that was out damage this turn. We use this effect a lot, obviously. Usually it's like a 3 1 flyer without lifelink. So the lifelink here is a pretty big upgrade, I think. And, uh, you know, it's fine. Not the most exciting card of all time. This is limited filler mostly, but if you're playing, uh, you know, a bunch of small creatures or whatever, and so, or first strike. It's, is it first strike? I haven't seen it first strike, but whatever. You get the idea. Again, common card we see all the time. You know, change a number here or there. For the most part, this is the, the play style we're used to. Uh, and the numbers are fine. So, yeah. Oh, fringe playable. Fine. Rush of Dread. Black, black, one, plus. Sorcery. So, a big spree card here. Plus one. Target opponent sacrifices half. Creatures they control rounded up. Plus two. Discard half the cards in their hand rounded up. Plus two. Target opponent loses half their life rounded up. This card's, like, never going to do what you want, right? Like, it's not like you get to choose what they sacrifice. So, like, sack half your creatures. Okay, I'll keep my shield root and my Rafine and sacrifice my one drop and my token. You know, it's just like, good luck with that. Uh, and then, uh, you know, lose half your life, whatever. Discard half your cards, keep the important ones. It does have a, a Splinter Twin combo with uh, Blood Letter of Alcatraz or whatever, uh, which will be a combo kill, I guess. So for for a 4-mana creature that must live and then a 5-mana sorcery, you can kill your opponent. 
that being said, that's not that good. <laughs> uh, so have fun with that, I guess. Uh, but overall, I'm going to be playing cards that are good by themselves for the most part. So not very good in limited or constructed. Uh, pipe dream card. Have fun with it, but wouldn't recommend. Up next is Servant of the Stinger. This art is horrifying. It's meant for a uncommon 1-3 death touch. Does combat damage to a player. If you committed a crime this turn, you may sacrifice this. And if you do... Search library for a card, put it in your hand, then shuffle. So we have a 1-3 death touch for 2, which is a phenomenal limited card anyway. And then if it hits your opponent, and you've crimed, it's a demonic tutor. It's not bad, honestly. Um, that's kind of kind of cool. I mean, like, demonic tutor ain't what it used to be in fair formats, you know? Um, and this is not a card you want to put in your combo deck, probably, or whatever. So it's kind of a weird melding of abilities. Uh so, Constructed-wise, I don't think that the abilities jive well enough to, like, find a deck that would want to be a home for this card. That being said, the power level's there. This is a great, great draft card. Great blocker, great attacker. Upside as well. Um, but, Constructed, I don't really know what deck wants it. But the power's there. This is where The rate is very good here. Very, very solid card. I shot the sheriff. <laughs> Too bad. Doomblade Variant. Too bad for an instant. Destroy target non-outlaw creature. Uh, before Outlaws joins the standard format this kills like 47 of the top 50 creatures in the format so uh better than go for the throat now that outlaws is out however there'll be more outlaws uh to be able to not kill so is it better than go for the throat we'll see you know format depending obviously it's gonna see a lot of play regardless it's funny this card seems really good in older formats this might be the best doom blade and pioneer now uh can't kill mute vault obviously but uh, you know, definitely, Why won't you definitely a pretty cool card. In Limited, this is a card that is definitely fine. Uh, there are a lot of Outlaws, there are a lot of non-Outlaws also. I haven't done the same, like, you know, done the math or whatever, but very similar to Go for the Throat in, like, an artifact format, you know, where it's not going to kill everything, it still kills the things, some things for very, very cheap, so I think this card is still quite good in Limited, and, uh, it's a Doom Blade, folks, so much more to say. Skullduggery returns. One mana instant. Plus minus one to your creature. Minus a minus one to their creature. This is the kind of card that good limited players love. Oh, Skullduggery. One mana for a two for one. You set it up right. And uh, if you don't, it sucks. But that's what you want as limited players, right? This card's awesome. And uh, there are a historically low number of X1s in this set. Uh, versus past formats. Doesn't matter. Great trick. Awesome card. Love it. Uh, you know, even if it's just a plus two, plus two, like, I have a 3-3, you three, three, have a 2-2, two, two, I shrink yours and grow mine. That's fine. But the upsides here is amazing. Play around this card. Be aware of this card. This card's going to be uh, a defining characteristic of combat in this draft format. Tiny Bones! Oh, old tiny... Old tiny, tiny bones. Sleeper card, folks. I think this card is actually just awesome. We have here a one-mana enchantment. All right, ETB, target player discards a card. That's fine. That's hopeless nightmare. You know, it's a one-for-one -one exchange. Is that amazing? No, but certainly a reasonable exchange of resources, and it's a crime. Then as tax, never a legendary creature enters battlefield under your control. Any number of target players each mill a card and lose one life. This is a crime machine, folks. Tiny Bones is a freaking crime machine. They're small, yes, but they are powerful. All right. Tiny Bones is here to do some damn crime. Crimes forever. Every legend now is a crime, and they lose one. Chip shot damage everywhere. Crimes everywhere. And the upfront cost is one block, you discard a card. It's also an enchantment. You can bounce it with that freaking, uh, that red bird thing in white. You can sacrifice it to bargain effects. I love this card. The biggest card is awesome. It does so many awesome little things. Uh, it's a great, great enabler for tons of stuff. I think this card's a big, big sleeper. Aside from being a, a, a commander card also, this is a great standard card. Possible play on other formats also. Uh, Beseech the, the Queen, other bargain cards. Love it. I think this card's great. This card will be in at least one brew and 10 new brews, if not two, honestly. If not two. Card's freaking awesome. Love it. And of course, Tiny Bones proper. Tiny Bones is back as well. Uh, one mana for a legendary skeleton rogue with death touch 1-1. One, one. Whenever it does combat damage to a player, you may cast target non-land permanent card from that player's graveyard. 
and mana of any type can be spent to cast that spell. So this is a weird card, right? So a 1-1 one, one, one Death Touch for 1 is, like, pretty good. Honestly, as far as rate goes, like, attacks through things, blocks pretty well. That's pretty cool. That's fine. It also can cast... Um, can cast spells in your opponent's graveyard, which matters more later in the game, which is kind of weird because, like, it might not get through later. But the more important part is this thing is just a crime machine. Once again, attack with this thing, target some random land or whatever in the graveyard, and now you can hit a crime, which is cool also. So, Time Bones is all about the crime. He's all about that life, all right? And this card is cheap. It's a legend. Uh, it's super effective what it does. It blocks well also. I think this card's got a chance to construct it in, in multiple different spots. Uh, but, yeah, card's cool. Like it a lot. And uh, great limited card also because a 1-1 one -one Death Touch for 1 is also fine. Um, oh, sorry. T target non-land permit. My, my bad. Can't target lands. Whatever. The point is that you can just target things. And that's cool. So, card's cool. Like it a lot. Love Tiny Bones. He's just a little dude. Aww. Just a little guy living his life, you know? Look at that bag, too. Just full crime. Full crime. Treasure Dredger. Is that me and Nicole playing Breath of the Wild? <laughs> so, I for a 2-2. Human Rogue Uncommon. Pay one. Tap. Pay one life. Make a treasure. Obviously, a good limited card. Uh, for Constructed... This can bank up for the future, but, like, that's not very good, I don't think. So, for the most part, it's just a draft card. If it didn't have the one mana cost on it, it was just tap, make a treasure. It'd be really, really good, obviously. Uh, but with that one cost on there, not not a card for Constructed. But good good, good draft card for sure. Good bear, upside, mana fixing. Pretty cool. Unfortunate Accidents. That's a damn shame. One mana Spree card, instant uncommon. Spree. Plus three, destroy creature. Plus one, make a mercenary. Card's great, right? This is a great draft card. So we have two mana to make a mercenary at instant speed. Four mana to kill a creature at instant speed. Five mana to do both. Good draft card. Nothing. It's a rocket sign, folks. Just a good draft card through and through. Unscrupulous Contractor. Three mana for a 3-2 human assassin. ETB. Sacrifice a creature when you do. Target player draws two and loses two with plot three. This is just that, that's that, that serpent card from uh, Innistrad or whatever. Was a great, great card then, great card now. Add plot to it, it's pretty awesome as well. Uh, great limited card, possible card constructed if there's like a you know a real sacrifice deck. It is a sacrifice card that's also a um, an outlaw. As you mentioned, there are some cool outlaw sack things happening, so could be a thing there constructed possibly if there is. This would be a part of it, but great limited card. Vadmir, new blood, ten of vampire rogue rare two two for uh, for two, legend. Commit a crime, put a counter on this thing, but only once a turn. That's great. Obviously very, very good. As long as it has four more counters on it, Menace and Lifelink. That's a bit of a stretch, but a nice thing to work towards. I think that just, you know, a growing 2-2 is pretty awesome here. Um, constructed, I mean, maybe, you know, obviously plays very well with the with the Tiny Bones enchantment. You play this thing. Now it's 3-3. Three, three. That's awesome. And there are ways to make it work. So is reasonable. Can crime on their turn also, which is pretty cool. So you can go like, you know, play this thing with, with Tiny Bones, do a thing. Clear thing on your turn, grow it again. And then obviously, like, you know, if it's a 4 4, great. If it's a 6, great. If it dies, great. It's two drop, who cares? So, very solid card. Definitely a chance for constructive play. Great limited card. It's cool. It's, a, it's definitely a cool card. Vault Punderer. 3 minute for a 3 1. EDB, draw one, lose one. Phyrexian Rager, hell yeah. Great draft card. Love it. Nothing more to say. I'm all about it. Greed's Gambit. Now we're on to our big score cards. These are the cards that are, are in the aftermath set, basically, but are in the main packs. Greed's Gambit is a format enchantment. ETB, draw three, gain six, make three bets. Being of your end step, discard a card, lose two, sacrifice a creature. Whenever it leaves the battlefield, you discard three, lose six, and sacrifice the creatures. So this is a kind of a weird get it all up front kind of card, pay it back later. Obviously really cool to donate. Don't be surprised if it didn't new gurus were playing this card, the bird that donates, because that's pretty fun. That being said, beyond that, more of a more of a meme or dream kind of card. Um, I wouldn't play this card in limited. Uh, and I guess like in limited, like if you can just use the cards fast enough, you won't discard, which is kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, I think for the most part, this is just a you know a demonic pack kind of meme or dream kind of card. But we'll try it. Harvester of Misery. Holy shit, folks! Harvester of Misery. Five mana for a five four menace. ETB. All other creatures get minus two, minus two. Channel two mana, discard this. Give a creature minus two, minus two. This card's insane. This is just Disfigure on top of Massacre Worm. Like, 
What is happening here? This card's just wild, right? Huge, huge pain for the Convoke decks. Uh, great mid-range card, great control card. It, when you discard it to disfigure a thing, you're also descending, which is kind of cool too. It's putting a creature in your graveyard for other effects like that. Uh, this card's bonkers. Just bonkers, bonkers, bonkers card. Uh, gonna see play in a lot of different formats. I think this card's insane. Uh, just, wow. Insane and limited, obviously. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Buy him now. Obviously, the mythic moniker is a little weird because, like, it's not really a mythic. It's, like, just a weird rarity, but whatever. Card's busted. Card's awesome. Uh, Harvester of Misery. Best in show for, uh, for black. And, uh, Hostile Investigator. For mana for a 4-3. Ogre Rogue Detective. When an EDB star opponent discards a card, whenever one or more players discard one or more cards, investigate. This creature triggers only once a turn. This card is, is Shades of, uh... Shit. Uh, what's it called? City Soccer Connoisseur, or whatever. The alchemy card that I top aided the Pro Tour with. Uh, which is the best card in that format. Uh, where it's just a big creature. Opponent discards, gets some value. That gave you a blood. That always got the biggest card, though. This gets any random card, but this card's pretty good. You know, this is the kind of card where, like, you might look at this against Shieldred and be like, why would I play this over Shieldred? Shoulder just dies. You know, if you're playing a mid-range mirror, just kill, kill your shoulder, move on with my life, you know? This card is like a three for one. So four, three, EDB, you lose a card. We just, we get to investigate. And if we're playing more discard effects, you can investigate even more. It's kind of cool too. So this card is pretty good. I think this card uh, is sneakily quite good. And um, don't discount it because it's a four drop uh, in a world of shoulder because this card is, is definitely reasonable. And then uh, obviously a bonkers limited card. Just way above rate. Card's excellent and limited. But I think this card's got a chance. You know, it's also an outlaw it's a detective too, I guess. Just one or whatever. But I think this card's great. This card's very, very good. Uh, hostile investigator. Don't sleep on it. That's it for black. So best in show is Harvester of Misery. We had Tiny Bones join up as our sleeper card. Karvik the Punisher is our, uh, our trap card. And then Raven of Fell Omens is our bombing common. Black's all done, folks. Like, comment, subscribe on YouTube. We got more to do. All right, Red's coming up next on stream. If you missed white or blue, watch them on YouTube. Support the content. We got 10 new brews coming up on Wednesday. Look for that. We got freaking Bronze Mythic next week. That's going to be awesome as well. Uh, it's going to be a really good time, honestly. We're going to do some cool, uh, cool drafts and stuff. It's going to be a lot of fun. And don't forget also Command Fest. There I am with a ridiculous lineup of content creators. It's going to be an amazing event. Down, down, good old Texas. Uh, I go to Command Fest and I fly right to the Pro Tour. It should be a lot of fun. So, Red's coming up. You two folks, like, like, comment, subscribe. Let's go. Peace.